Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to animate your vector artwork. So first I will need to create a simple vector illustration. I'm going to use Affinity Designer, but you can pick other software as well. Inkscape or maybe Adobe Illustrator. All my assets are ready, now I'm going to use export persona to export them as PNG files with transparent background. Here we are in Wig Editor. It's time to import our PNG files into the Wig Editor, but first I check the resolution and set up the background color. Everything seems fine. So on the right side of the screen you can see asset library here we got the button for uploading assets i'm going to quickly add them one by one five assets in total now we can preview them on the right side it's my cloud smoke little boat water and water okay now we are ready to set it up on our scene Start with background water waves. In Wig Editor, all clips, all objects can have its own timeline. It's very helpful. So, in this case, I'm going to edit the clip timeline, not the main one. I want my waves to move up and down. I'm going to create a twin point at the beginning. one in the middle and one at the end back to normal state now i'm going to move the middle one a little bit down let's check moving down and back up down and up okay it's nice loop i created inside the object timeline so my main timeline is still empty That's really useful feature of Wig Editor that we can nest animation inside the separate timelines.
new layer and now just drag my asset from the asset library here it is I will do something very similar here I will edit the inner timeline of this clip edit timeline now I'm inside the object timeline not in the main one it will be something very similar for this wave but instead of moving up and down we will rotate it I will create a full loop again so I will need few more points Extend the frames and add new twin point. All frames in between twin points will be adjusted automatically by the software, so we don't need to worry about them. And one more twin point. Here it is. Now we're bending this a little bit to right. Okay, I think we got full loop here. Let's check. Okay, let's create a third layer and drag the next object from my asset library. I position my cloud outside the artboard. I'm going to extend this first frame and add some twin points like before. But this time in the main timeline. layer number 4 and our main object little boat I will change the order of layers drag it up and place my boat from asset library create a clip from this object and edit its timeline I'm not going to animate boat here, but I would like to add a little smoke coming from the chimney here. So one more layer. And it's time to drag our last asset here. Now we are inside the timeline of the boat, not the main one. Okay, here's our smoke. I'm going to twin it, two points, okay, start position and end position over here. Changing opacity to zero, so our smoke will fade away.
Now, the last thing, I'm going to tween my boat from left to the right. I think I will also reverse the cloud movement. 